Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is GB here from Income Babes. And in today's video, we're actually going to be condensing all of the cash that is currently in my sinking funds binder. And we need to switch these out into the new binders that I have set up um, already. So we're just going to jump straight into the video. And we're just going to take everything out of... This is my old uh, sinking funds binder. But we've kind of set up a new one and it has okay i'm not sure why i tried to take everything out at once it has all of the new envelopes that i got from shein but i don't think all of the cash is gonna fit in there so what we're gonna do is see what we're kind of working with um so we'll use this uh binder for something else so remember that off camera um i did set up this cream binder which has my short-term sinking funds and i also i've used the new Shein envelopes we've put in the names remember the place cards the place slips the matte vellum slips these ones so we kind of put those in there and i've created saving challenges for these but i'm also going to be using them as trackers as well so that's what we've done. And I've split them into short-term sinking funds and long-term sinking funds. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing and being here. Let me know if you are new. Um, my nails are different because I do nail content. I do nail tutorials. So this is a nail fee. Uh, we did some hibiscus on some blue nails. And um, it's also Virgo season and Sapphire is the color the birthstone for september so shout out to my virgos okay so that's the short-term sinking funds and then this these are the long-term sinking funds it's exactly the same thing what i've done to the front of these binders as well is i've put a little buying teller slip there and then to the back we do have a little budget sheet and i thought that was really cool okay so now let's go through the categories and kind of see what we're working with and what we can actually um condense so we're just gonna put this to the side there as well as my financial goal so the first envelope that we have here is kids and i believe it's in uh, yeah so it's inside the cream binder don't have a lot of space here so um inside kids we're just gonna take everything out but the so i do have inserts inside here as well but these ones are a little bit uh shorter and these ones are a little bit longer and not a taller sorry and not as wide um okay so kids currently has 5 10 15 and this is the budget sheet here but the budget sheets are can they fit i feel like they might be a little bit tight but like i said i don't necessarily want to use the budget sheets oh they actually do fit i didn't know that because i wanted to use the trackers but if the budget sheets fit then i don't necessarily need to use the trackers yeah um i can just leave it as is because it's already written anyway we'll figure it out um i have my budget sheet so just gonna put the budget sheet to the side i, I really i feel like i want to use the trackers instead all right so kids still has 15 so we'll just kind of sneak this in there uh we can't really condense that just yet okay so our next envelope here is gifts and gifts has oh so bella had a birthday party of me to take 15 out to give to as a gift so the balance is 35 so 10 20 30 uh, we're just gonna put you know what we'll just put the cash in first and then we'll condense after because we'll be here all day I don't want this to be too much of a long video. Okay. I'm trying to get the cash straight and yeah. Okay, moving on to birthdays is next, which is also the next one into this old envelope here and birthdays should have a total of 75 so 20 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 so for 
uh, our birthdays, me, both me and my husband's birthdays is this month. Uh, maybe we can go on a little dinner date. We'll see. That fits in there. All right, that's done. Christmas is next. I don't have a tracker in here for Christmas, but I know why, because I'm doing a Christmas savings challenge. Um, and these 50s are not going to fit. So it says I should have 120. 51, 5, 10, 15, 20. So these 50s do not fit comfortably into these envelopes. And I don't want the cash to get mashed. I'll, I'll show you just for showing purposes, but the 50s are on the taller side, you see? And if you had stacks of 50s, they would kind of poke out. So this is gonna go back to the bank and we're going to actually put in a placeholder for this one. So I'm gonna get one of my mat placeholders, one of the 100 placeholders, 100 euros, there we go. And so 100 euros and then five, 10, 15, 20. So uh, we'll put this inside there. And that's just gonna keep everything simple. So there we go. Uh, first placeholder is in. I didn't fix that properly, did I? Love it. Okay, so this is going to go into my cash tray. So 50, 5, 10, 20, 50. Okay, entertainment is next. Okay, so we do. Oh, here's entertainment. So we'll push. We'll put Famcation must be in the other envelope. Entertainment is next. If entertainment should have 10 and then Halloween should have 25, so I should have 25 in here. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I need to remember that 25 is for Halloween, but it's okay. Okay, 25 is going in for entertainment. That is done. Um, what is next? Date night is next. Here's the envelope for date night. Date night should have. 10 so that is two fives there and we can go ahead and push this in as well there we go school fees is next so vacation must be in the other envelope okay here is school fees and we just started this envelope so there's not going to be a lot inside here i don't have a tracker for that either 5 10 15 20 in fact, I just had to pay a bunch of school fees. Um, so this U.S. money here represents money that came out of the... Remember, we stuffed uh, our week, September week one. And this came out of the buffer. So I had to pay some school fees. So uh, this cash actually needs to go back to my bank account. So I'll be taking that out. But I'm not going to do that now. I just want to get the cash condensed and then we'll do our reconciliations at a different time. But this, having the prop money there just lets, reminds me that I need to put the money back to the bank account. So that's why I like using the prop money as well. Why is this cricket? Why is this uneven? It's not straight. There we go. Okay, so next up is shopping, which is this envelope here. Shopping is another new category that I added back again, so it doesn't have much in there. So this is, um, this is 10. And we'll put this in there. Self-care is a new category I just added. So I don't think I have a self-care envelope in here. College is not inside here. What's next in this category? Health. Oh, so those are the last two. I don't think I have anything for those categories. Miscellaneous, one month ahead. Uh, no, I don't have anything for those categories. But I do have these three here, my Amazon, Etsy, and my YouTube. And I think I'm going to add them into this binder as well. Once my new envelope comes, I have some more envelopes coming. Once my new envelope comes, I'll just switch them over into the new envelopes. So we'll just keep these to the back here. Did something come off just now? All right, so the cream short-term sinking funds is now done. For now, we're gonna condense in a little bit. Now let's move over to my 
long-term sinking funds. Uh, I'm just going to move all of these other slips to the side. Okay, so we have a few more envelopes here that we need to do. So one month ahead. All right, so one month ahead is empty, I think. Yeah, no, we haven't put anything in one month ahead yet, which is fine. Um, next, we have miscellaneous. Okay, you know what? Let's just start from the front. Miscellaneous emergency. You see how the cash is just kind of falling out? That's why I'm switching them over because I, I cut off the thing to the top there, so they're kind of loose. All right, let's get started with famcation, which is family vacation. Um, this should have 25, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20. That's 25 in here so far. So we'll just go ahead and put you in there. Getting a head start. Okay, next up is vacation. We should be completely empty because we spent it all this week for Paris. I mean, this last month on Paris. So it's saying that I should have 10 in there, which is what I have. And uh, we have track, travel tracker in there, so I'll put the 10 in vacation. Next is college, which is a new envelope that I just started uh, two weeks ago, I think. So I don't have a tracker for this. 5, 10, 15, 20. So we have 20 in college so far. And I need thousands and thousands and thousands to be in this envelope. But um, I have about two to three years. Okay, medical is next. And I should have 75 in medical. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, which is good. Even the 20s, you know, it's just literally right there. Um, next is emergency fund. Which should have 400. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 25, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. So the 400 is all there. We definitely, uh, we need to condense this actually. I'm not even going to try to put this in here. You see how thick this is? And then this envelope is pretty thin. So I need to get some more, um cash place holders and I have a 500 in here I have a 250 I don't think I and I have a hundred so I could do a 250 and I could do a hundred which is 350 and I guess I could just leave 50 in there because I don't have any more and then once I put another set of money in there I can take the rest back out because I didn't make any 200 or I didn't make any small ones so this is 350 and we're just gonna do two twenties and a ten. So we're gonna this should be this should be three fifty, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, sixty five, seventy, twenty five, eighty, eighty five, ninety, a hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So that's one fifty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two fifty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three fifty. So this can go back to the bank as well. So we're just going to add this to our tray to go back to the bank. Okay, so 250300 400 uh, to go into our emergency fund. And I will color in the trackers at a later time. Already tightened there. Probably because the, um, the cash placeholders might be a little bit too long. Those are the old ones that I made. I might need to make new ones. In fact, I might make new ones because um, I want to do math. I love the mat okay so that is emergency fund done 
um, miscellaneous. Uh, miscellaneous should have 200 in here as well. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. I am going to do placeholder for miscellaneous as well. So we're just going to get uh, two of the 100s if I can find them. So that's one. Right, so we have two here of the 100s. And I wonder if these are too long. I'm going to have to make these over here. Yeah, they're pretty tight there. All right, miscellaneous has 200. We're just going to go ahead and put placeholders in here for miscellaneous. Yeah, they're a bit long, but that's okay. They're not coming out anytime soon. And we're going to add this 200 to our cash that's going back to the bank. Okay, so now that we have all of the cash in back to school anniversary, that's everything that's inside that old envelope. Let's see if we can actually condense anything. What is this? Famcation. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Is that what's supposed to be in here? 25. So we'll take out the fives and we will put in a 20 for Famcation. That's done. Vacation. What does vacation have? Vacation has 10, so we'll put two fives. We'll take the two fives out and we'll put a 10 in. College has 5, 10, 15, 20, so we'll take the fives out. Can you see the cash tray? I know some people like to see the cash going in, and we'll put 20 in. It was 20, right? Just now. Oh, I don't have a tracker in this one. Okay, what does medical have? Any small notes in medical? There's a few small notes in here. 20, 40, 10, 20. So we'll take out the two tens and we'll put in the 20 for this one for medical. Emergency fund, we already condensed this, didn't we? Two 20s and a 10, yeah. Miscellaneous fee, month ahead, doesn't have anything. Back to school, anniversary, doesn't have any back to school, anything in it. Okay, so that is done. Not too bad, not too thick. Okay, now we're just going to switch over to the short-term sinking funds to see if there's anything in here that we can condense, and we will be done. Kids uh, has 15 in there. I don't want to condense this because sometimes we play games and I need, I need to have small amounts. Gifts, I'm not going to condense either because sometimes we have parties and it's nice to have. In fact, my daughter has been invited to another party, my other daughter, and I'm going to have to give some cash as well. I'm going to actually take 10 out and put two fives in. I'd like to have some small change in there as well. So we'll just be giving them cash. All right, birthdays. Is there anything we can do inside here? 10 and 40, 10. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so we can take the 5s out and we can put the 20s in. And that is basically it we can do for birthdays. Christmas, we, I think we already condensed, didn't we? Oh no, but there's some loose cash in here. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so we can take the 5s out and we can put the 20 in for Christmas. Okay, entertainment. Uh, I think I want to leave that loose. Do I want to leave this loose? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I want to leave that loose. Date night has two fives in there. I'm going to take that out and we're going to put the 10 in. Uh, school fees, which I need to um, pay myself back. So 5, 10, 15, 20. We're just going to take the two, the fives out. And we're going to put a 20 note, note in here. Almost done, guys. Uh, shopping. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that uh, with the money that's in there. Self-care doesn't have any cash. 
Health doesn't have any cash yet. And the only thing in here is YouTube money, I think. That was I have on YouTube. I guess we can condense this into 120 because I don't plan to take this out yet. This is going to be for my 1000 giveaway. So we'll just go ahead and put 20 in the back here. For YouTube. Okay, so this cream binder is now done. We have condensed all of the envelopes. So what do we have here going back to the bank? Let's get our calculator. So we have 51. And 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80. Wait, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40. Okay. 240, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 160, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 55, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So that's 150. So in total, 650 is going um, back to the bank. And 400 of this, to take away 400, is our emergency fund. And the other 250 came from, I think, Miss. No, 250 was. Anyway, we know what it is because we have placeholders. So we'll just kind of, I'll just write everything off camera. Anyway, that's it for today's condensing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for my next video where we will be finally getting to our saving challenges because we've finished doing our bookkeeping and our accounting and all of our reconciliations. We know how much cash we're going to be cash stuffing. And I will see you in the next video for my saving challenges. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.